now here's a game from my childhood that many people have probably never heard of. Go West, the Homesteaders Challenge is an American history role-playing simulation, according to the disc. It was made in 1996 in the era where other educational games were coming out, such as Mario Teaches Typing, Math Blaster, and my personal favorite, Gizmos and Gadgets. This game was on a different level, however. It was made by Brighter Child Interactive and Edunetics Interactive, both of which are memories lost into time. I can't actually find out much about either of these companies. A search for Ed Edunetics Interactive only brought up Go West, and Brighter Child Interactive brought up similar results, though I did manage to find a few other games by them. Mostly games about Caillou, which I've never watched, and a few other children's games. Two interesting things that were brought up when I searched Go West was a website called Museum of Play and another called Eli's Software Encyclopedia, the latter that included the box art for the game. I think? I'm actually not sure if the game came with a box or if it was just printed on pieces of paper that were included. The box art, if you could call it that, boasts that the game is full interactive and brings history to life, meeting curriculum standards for mathematics, social studies, and geography. More interesting, though, is a little blurb on the back that explains the Plano project that this game was involved in. According to the box, the companies worked with teachers, administrators, and students from the Plano School District to make not just this game, but another game called Message in a Fossil. And I'm sad to say that I do not have Message in a Fossil, and I'm looking for it right now. The box also warns you that it uses QuickTime, and it comes with an installation of QuickTime 2.1.1. Of course, QuickTime is known to be a giant problem child, and luckily you'd be installing this on a virtual machine since it won't run on modern Windows operating systems. The box doesn't prepare you for the game though, so once you've loaded it up, you're greeted with a screen of doom. Once you've gotten past where all the special effects budget went to, you'll immediately be tossed into the login screen. The game runs on a student-by-student -student basis, so you're asked to put in your full name, then you're given a screen name and tossed into the introduction. The 3D images you're seeing now are going to be going away in a moment as the entire game is rendered in mostly 2D images. Once the fun has passed, a narrator gives us the story of the late 1880s and why we're going on this journey. America, the 1880s. Hundreds of thousands of people from around the world have moved to the big cities of the Northeast. You are among them. You have come to the history the lesson American breaks down that everything sucks, and, and you're prosperity. off to Kansas to start a new life your with your wife and child. During this you trip, you're asked to pick a goal. The goal comes with some specific criteria that you'll need to meet, though some of those criteria are rather vague. Maybe others plan to run businesses in the new towns. You get to Kansas, sign your documents, and then end up on your homestead for the first time. Then you're forced to interact with these guys. My name is Sven. I'm your nearest neighbor. My family and I came here from Sweden seven years ago. We started farming a homestead. If you and I hope you enjoy home, interacting with them, you as you'll be homestead. seeing them a lot. Back on the main screen, you finally get a menu and some options. The first thing to do is build a house and barn for your animals. The next is to check out your fields where you'll be plowing, planting, and harvesting twice a year, until you die. The goal here is to manage money and time, though I've never had trouble with this, and both are easy to come by anyway, so... Seeds to plant uh, are found at the store, which can be accessed by hovering your mouse over the bottom screen, and this is probably my favorite part of the entire game. Once you're done bleeding from the ears, you can check out things such as the catalog, which gives you the information you need, and various things to buy. 
Then you can visit the counter to buy seeds. Welcome the seed the buying is simple mathematics. Please put in the acres of the seeds you want, multiply that with the price, put in the values. And the number pad won't work for this, so good luck if you have a blacked out keyboard like I do. There's a few other things in town, such as a bank you'll rarely use, the grain elevator you'll sell your crops to, and some other buildings that never really get used. And this screen will change as the town grows, but it never actually gets that much bigger. Inside your house, you can put money into a savings box under the bed, read newspapers if there are any available, and see what you've done. If you've done all that, you can stop back outside and check your achievements. This gives you an overview of how much you're worth, how your farm is doing, and what you need to do in order to feel the in order to accomplish the goal you've selected. Some of these are vaguer than others, but just do what you feel like doing and you should be fine. Once you're ready to go, you click on the calendar and watch the days fly by. At this point, it becomes repetition. Each September and April, you'll harvest, sell, and plow, then plant new crops. Maybe something bad will happen, maybe something good will happen. Toward the end of the game, you'll be able to buy places in town which will generate income, and it's at that point where I generally stop even planting crops. Eventually, the game takes you through World War I. You get to buy your first car, and you can upgrade your house to a wooden one instead of a sod house. Each month passes, each the same until you finally reach December of 1919. Oh, give me a home. Where the buffalo roam And the deer and the antelope play Where seldom is heard A discouraging word And the skies are not cloudy all day Home, home on the rain where the deer and the antelope play. Where seldom is heard a discouraging word. And the skies are not cloudy all day. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this episode, please let me know in the comments. This is my first review, uh, or overview, I guess of a game that isn't really well known. So if you enjoyed this, like I said, please let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. If you want to see more of this, please subscribe to my channel. If you all really enjoyed this type of thing, I will be doing more reviews coming up in the next few months. So please uh, keep your eyes open for that. Thank you so much for watching.